game number two, live on sportsbookreview.com. What a way to start the day on Saturday. 10 a.m. Pacific, CBS, number three against number four. Kansas is in Waco to take on Baylor. Baylor, two and a half. Projected line, 141 and a half the total. First trip at home, Kansas was laying six and a half. They won 63-58. Baylor led by four at the half. It was tied with 230 left, Teddy. Yeah, 54-54 with two and a half left before the Jayhawks pulled away for the five-point non-spread covering victory. Bill Self, quote, our guys kept hanging in there. They kept grinding. And we really played good defense the last two and a half minutes. I thought we disrupted their rhythm a little bit because we pressured them more in the second half. The big thing is we just competed better. Josh Jackson, 23-10 and 10 in that game. Frank Mason, 19 points and 6 assists though, with a big 2 for Kansas in the home win over Baylor last month. Yes, look at this schedule though. Look how they finished the season. Forget about the how it, they end the season. It's got to be the toughest 8 game stretch of anybody in the entire nation. Look at the Ken Palm ratings. At West Virginia, number 4. At Kentucky, number 7. Baylor at home, number 8. Iowa State, 26. At K-State. At Texas Tech. West Virginia, and then Baylor. Look at that gauntlet they have to go through. Yeah, well, they've been through it, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, when a team, and Kansas has been, of all the elite teams this year, Kansas has been the worst point spread team. But that's going to create two situations for the Jayhawks down the stretch and into the tournament. Number one is that they're going to be as battle-tested as anyone, <laughs> you know. And, and number two is, I mean, the markets aren't going to white hot on Kansas the way they are on some of the other elite squads. So maybe there'll be more money to be made with Kansas, a team that's tested, but I worry about them wearing down. Lack of depth is an issue for this team. Over the last seven games, out of 290 potential minutes, look, Mason at 262, Graham at 262, Jackson at 250, and one issue you worry about with a tired team, a team with some tired legs, rebounding. Baylor. Really good on the offensive glass, you know. Uh, number nine uh, overall for the season. Number one in the Big 12 uh, since the start of Big 12 play. Kansas defensive rebounding, eh? Well, they haven't snared them. They're number 214 in the country at uh, grabbing the percentage of defensive rebounds, which means that Baylor's going to be live on the offensive glass, just like they were in the first meeting, Polly. Baylor got offensive rebounds on 40% of their misses, Jonathan Motley, 16 points and 10 boards, a lot of them on putbacks in that ballgame. Don't trust. They might win Saturday, and they're favored, at least the projected line. I don't trust this team in big games. I don't like how they're playing down the stretch, and you know what's happened in the tournament the last two years. They lost to Yale and Georgia State as big favorites. Sure, and when you find a team that's losing early as big favorites in the tournament year, 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 you know, that's one of those things I don't pick against that. When I'm doing brackets, I can tell you right now, I'll pick Baylor to get upset because that mindset, that mentality of, ooh, we got to avoid the upset, it can creep into a program. And these type of things can happen over and over and over again. Uh, you know, Baylor wouldn't be the first team that has been a high seed eliminated, not just in consecutive seasons, but repeatedly uh, by lower-seeded foes. Great card Saturday. We continue. USC, UCLA, Saturday night, and SMU in Houston, plus the play of the day. Coming up on SportsBit, betting insight today on SBRPicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more. Hey guys, for the full video, go to SBRPicks.com.